Hey, what's up guys? Alta Wisdom speaking. Today, we're gonna cover a bit the uh, latest date of AutoGrid, uh, the audio version. I've uh, added quite a few things um, to make it uh, a bit more comfortable, add some new features and uh, basically improve uh, more the workflow of it. So let's get on to it. Okay, what do we have here? That's the basic project. We have a kick and base here. Just uh, basic, basic stuff. This uh, the base is from a from a chef's latest um, latest uh, preset packs from uh, for for Vital. So you can find the link in the, the, at the bottom of this video if you're interested. Uh, we also have quite a few things uh, coming out of a uh, chef's preset packs, um, both for Vital and also for for serums. So they're pretty interesting for all sirens related. So this presets instead of trying to redo something that's not the purpose of this, that tutorial. Okay, so uh, what do we have here? We have uh, several patches. Let's hear them. Just to, uh, just basic uh, basic MIDI information. Just one note and C. So this one. This one is a bit more of an ambient patch. This one also. And this one a bit more gritty. Okay. So all in all, these sounds are interesting, but uh, of course, I uh, wouldn't want to have them playing at the same time. So first we uh, can have them groove on their own. So add some bit of autoplay, some modulation as well. So here I have another play and auto modulate. Let's listen to it. So autoplay is just playing notes and automodulate is now modulating the micro two, micro two here, which is uh, uh, this one. So it's basically uh, controlling the cutoff and uh, some, other, some other stuff. On this one, I think I did the same, same kind of stuff. This one, this one controlling macro one, which is the sync. Okay, so that's the sync of the uh, main oscillator. Third one, I save. Okay, so maybe I'm using a bit too much my own devices, but uh, that's life. Um, okay, a bit of autoplay and also a macro two, which is controlled here and which is basically the cutoff again and uh, one of many things apart from the cutoff so it's pretty rich in terms of a basic preset uh, this one is an fm patch which is summer to play this one that's the ambient so i can't put the autoplay midi on it because it wouldn't work so i have these uh, the autoplay uh, audio version which helps us the outcoming sound of the of the patch So I can smooth it and I can have a bit of wet, dry wet nap here. This one, some, again, some basic to play with a bit of uh, transposition. So we have uh, something which is basically C1 and C1, C2 and C3. And I alternate in uh, randomly between those. And this one is ambient, but it's working quite, yeah. So this one is a bit more uh, guitar-like, I would say. Okay, so of course, again, if I have all these uh, babies playing at the same time, it's gonna be a nightmare. So let's uh, prepare your ears. So that's, that's awful, uh, of course, because uh, you know, I have all them, all them playing at the same time. So basically what I've done is I'm rooting uh, all these tracks the eight channels to that group, and this group is only sent to the sense, so this way uh, it won't play tightly straight out the to the master out. And uh, on this main track, uh, I've got a few things. Uh, first, this track also has an instrument. It's a in analog lab, uh, a basic patch. Let's just listen to it. Pretty simple, uh, and I have set. Uh, auto grid, the, so the eight channels versions, and I'll select the eight tracks 
that we'll be using here. I'm taking them out post mixer, so the overall sound coming out of the track uh, at the bottom. An eight, and after that, uh, I've got a glue, glue compressor because sometimes the volumes are not uh, even matched, evenly matched here. So uh, it's better to add a compressor afterwards to glue them a bit more together. And finally, some EQ just to get rid of the low, the, the lowest end, and uh, save some space for the bass. That's quite basic. I'm not hearing, I'm not into mixing there, so just really to for for controlling the controlling the sound. So so now let's remove sound. Uh, I can let everyone play. Of course, this one will, won't play any, uh, at all, and it will go straight to main. So now Auto Grid is not on, so we are listening to the Analog Lab. Let's get on. So each input has its own probability of occurrence, so Auto Grid is playing one at a time, not mixing anything. We got the step sequencer, random parameters, the smooth parameter to mix and match the, the, the various sounds, the probability of stutter to lower the density, and the length, each of each stutter compared to the allocation, allocated time which has which been chosen. So let's put it some randomization on that as well. What I've added uh, lately is, uh, apart from the nice knobs <laughs> that you can see here, so I can first just uh, select the input volume and I can filter out and I can remove uh, excessive gain. And I can also do uh, some panning on each of the, of the tracks. So I could do the panning here, but I thought it was a bit more convenient uh, as per for a suggestion from Sidrop um, to have the ability of panning the track straight from out of grid instead of having to go, to go back to the tracks and do that, do that there. So let's pan this one to the left, fully to the left, to lift this one fully to the right, like that. Uh, I think this one is the ambient, so we can we can keep it in the middle. Uh, this one a bit left, a bit right, and this one also in the middle. So now what we have is that the tracks are still playing, but they are panned uh, hard left, hard right, or in the middle, depending on the in, in the input. There we go. Uh, okay, one of the uh, comments I've had about AutoGrid is that uh, as it takes the sound out of the, uh, the, the inputs and cut it off, then uh, if you have some reverbs uh, or, if, or delays and, uh, and coming out of the tracks, they basically will be cut uh, they will, because they will, they will be chopped as the rest of the, of the track. So um, I've added a, a nice, I think it's a nice thing, is the possibility to have sense straight out of AutoGrid per channel. So basically we have here the sense setup. It's a floating window, so you can put whatever you want. Uh, I have set up four different sense here. One is the basic reverb, and have a delay. I have, I have some uh, cabinets from uh, Melda, and lately a uh, comb filter with some uh, distro distortion, the VSM3 from uh, Plugin Alliance, the Vertigo. So let's select this as the outputs. So there's gonna be the destinations of our sense. And now per channel, we're gonna be able to select uh, and to send a, an amount, a volume of a, the channel to the, to the, the, the corresponding send. But to do so, uh, it's better to work as a, with each track uh, separately because uh, we, we don't know what, what's going on. So basically we have, we'll just select the, the, the probabilities. Uh, this is pretty cumbersome. So now I'm using, um, I got a new device, which is not officially released, but uh, I've called that <laughs> Lord, of the, Lord of the Knobs uh, because it allows you to control uh, several knobs at the same time. It, for example, it, it's quite simple to set up. So I'm just setting up this, 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 go. Okay, and now I have the possibility of controlling all the probabilities at the same time. 
I can uh, solo one of the probabilities, so solo of the, uh, one of the patterns, so this one is 100 and all the others are 0%, so it's easy to switch from one to the other, and I can mute a selected channel, so I can put every, everyone to the maximum and mute one channel as, per, uh, as, uh, as I want, and with a smooth parameter which controls the time taken to go from the previous value to the, to the, to the new one. So we're gonna use that to solo the channels and uh, listen to listen to what it what it, what it does. So let's press play. So, uh, let's uh, solo the first channel and set up the sense for the first first channel. Okay, I can shut the uh, main input, which is the local track. So let's add a bit of delay. some reverb. Let's check if this toe isn't interesting. Okay, switch on. Okay, uh, what I can do as well is uh, select where the send is going to happen. Uh, will happen before that gain knob, which is per input, or if it's happening after the gain. So if, it if it's happening before the gain, then it means that no matter what I put here, the send will only depend on the volume coming out of the, of the track. Uh, if it's afterwards, then uh, it's gonna be basically uh, blended into the overall volume. If I do that before the gain, it means that I can also, also solo the sense. If I put all the volumes to zero and my sense are before the gain, then I will only listen to the sense because the input track will be, will, will be muted. I put them back. Okay, let's. Uh, 
And if I put after the gain, then uh, it's going to be reduced by the amount of volume which is here, which is usually better if you want to, depending on how you have, uh, you have uh, of course, uh, selected. Simple. It's pretty simple. Uh, okay, I can close that like that, like so, or here. Same for this one. Now I can. What I can do with uh, this this one is uh, do some transitions. So if I say I want to transition in two bars, then whatever I do will take two bars. So if I want to uh, use that mix button, if you see what it what it does, basically it's mixing the inputs. Because uh, basically here it's between three and four, so we're gonna have the input three and four at the same volume, same probability, and same for this one. And if I go to four, then four is gonna be a still the, the only one. So I can really play with that. So let's hear what it does. Let's start just with the first one. I can also go directly here. Of course, what I can do is automate all that. Uh, all these movements can be automated. So it's just a simple press play, uh, press record. Yeah, okay. to get to send this, one, but, uh, you 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 see you see the purpose of that, uh, probably. So. We've recorded the movements here, and they're gonna be played again. Again, also, uh, if I go back to the auto grid, I can also uh, select and uh, set and automate the sense straight from here. Uh, and not having to go back to each track, so it's pretty convenient, uh, especially if you're using the knobs here, you can do it uh, quite easily. And same here. So there we go, this is the latest update of AutoGrid. Uh, the 8 channel, the 4 channel is going to be updated as well. Um, I need to, to change a bit of stuff because, uh, because I've started to do the, the modifications on AutoGrid 8. And uh, in a few days, uh, also the, a lot of the knobs will be out. Uh, so this is really the control center for audio track because you can map it to whatever you want. Uh, say you want to control the volumes of the track, then you just, have, you just need to select the volume knobs. And then uh, you can uh, just move all the volumes at the same time. Has some smooth parameter. And you can also automate the volumes or whatever stuff directly from one track without having to go to each track. So from a, an automation standpoint, it's a bit simpler. Also, if you have a controller, you can uh, map these buttons and the knobs directly to the controller. So each time you put it, they will basically control whatever is connected to these parameters. So hope it was clear. Uh, do not stay to leave me a comment. Uh, do not stay to sub subscribe and like the, the video. And uh, I'll see you soon for more information and more updates, especially on a lot of the knobs, which is just uh, coming in a few days. Thank you, guys. Enjoy. Bye.